we we gonna we gonna do what the Lord leads us to do. Amen. As you would celebrate your twenty first year. Amen. And that's that's no small that's no small feat. Amen. So if you would just turn with me to a familiar passage of scripture. Um and, and I love how Pastor she prayed for me and I, I and I'm not joking. I felt that thing. I thank God because she said, bring back to remembrance. And, and a lot of times as pastors, we study and we study and we study. And sometimes we give and sometimes we don't get a chance to give all. And we don't understand it then, but then God brings it back for a time such as this. Amen. But turn with me to Galatians and the sixth chapter. In the ninth verse, and uh, I don't know what the eagles did, but I am cognizant of the fact of time. Amen. And um, Philadelphia Prayer, Praise, and Worship Center, y'all just like Celestial. We, you know, you don't have to fool around trying to make up a service and all that stuff and preliminaries and this. Let's sing. Let's pray. Read the scripture. Huh? Get a word. Bless the house and go home. All right. Galatians, the sixth chapter. And I want to just read one verse and be of encouragement to you on today. The word of the Lord says, let us, the ninth verse, let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Let, 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 y- y'all didn't get that that way. Let me give it to you. The message, the message. It, what y'all call that, Jerome or Jerome version, the watered down version? It says, "Right now, therefore, every time we get the chance, let us work for the benefit of all, starting with the people closest to us in the community of faith." God, we thank you right now. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this place. We thank you for this celebration, worship, and praise time. Now, God, we need a word from you. We ask, God, that you would bless our neighbors, those that stand to the left, the right, the front, or the back of us, whatever they need. God, we pray that you will supply their needs. Because if you can supply their needs, there's nothing too hard for you in our lives. So God, give us a word. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Come on, tell somebody, keep it going. Yeah, keep it. Keep it going. 21 years is a long time. And a lot of times we need to be encouraged just to to hold on and to keep it going. When we look at the text that is before us, there is a word that sticks out, and that word is weary. Weary, if we were to look at it, it, it lets us know that, that, that it is uh, described as fainting. Huh? And everyone will find some helpful instructions from this verse in this universal application. Uh, it, it, it lets us know that while we are working, the text suggests if you would just hold on, hold on to the assignment that God has for you. Huh? Let us not be weary, but we will reap. If we faint not. And there are, there are three little things that I want to do and, and, and I want to look at that, that will help us in our stance. The first thing, it is uh, uh, the problem of weariness. Yes, uh, uh, the problem of weariness. The text says, let us not be weary. We are often giving and getting tired of doing right. We, we, we never have a problem so much in doing wrong until the consequence comes. Huh? 
but 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 in, in, in doing right, we we often get tired. Uh, some of us we could stay out all night long and party all night long, but when it's time to go to service, we clock checking. Oh Lord, you got a two-hour service and you trying to run. Uh, we, we often get tired, and, and we get tired of doing the right thing because of it might be sometimes lack of fame. Uh, uh, it is that, that we are not noticed as we think we should be noticed at the time we want to be noticed. Let me let me help you out. Just because uh, uh, you don't see somebody watching you, don't mean they're not watching you, huh? Uh, uh, we 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 want to quit because we get unnoticed, we get unappreciated, we get unrecognized, and and if we are noticed, it's only because we criticize and and we're complaining. Yeah, you really want to see the old folks used to say, put it this way: the squeaky wheel gets the oil. Uh, uh, and so, so, so you're not recognized. You want to be that squeaking wheel, and it's hard to keep going when when our work is not recognized or complimented. But secondly, we get tired of doing right because of lack of fruit. We work hard, but 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 the fruit seems never to come. We we become discouraged and think that our work is in vain, and and we wonder if it really pays to do the right thing because we see we seem to see so little fruit in what we are doing. I, I, I'm just trying to encourage somebody today. Uh, uh, just keep, just keep going. Hold on. Don't, don't, don't be weary in your well doing. For weariness in, in, in due season. Huh? And, and that part of the verse is good medicine for, for, for the problem of weariness. In, in this part of the verse, it is the promise of wages and uh, 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 the, the patient for wages. Uh, because the promise, it says, we shall reap. It don't say you might. It, 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 it says we shall reap. And that is a di- divine promise. And it does not pay to do the wrong thing, but it pays to do the the right thing. God says so 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 no one pays better than God. So when you're working for God, the pay is better. Huh? When you're laboring for God, the blessings are better. Huh? And 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 and, and, and due season when when we, we need to remember the due season part about our wages. For wages uh, uh, it says for well doing in our lives sometimes that well doing uh, uh, seemingly never comes when we want it to come yeah yeah the old church used to say he may not come when you want him but he's always right on time and experience will tell you that The better sometimes is the longer it takes to get the reward. The longer you wait sometimes, the better the reward is. The longer you wait for the reward, the better you feel. Oh, there is a worry and there is being weary in waiting. But that's why the word lets us know that we must wait patiently on the Lord. And when he delivers what he promised to deliver, oh, that's a shout right there. See, see, cheap things, cheap things come in a hurry. Corrupt things and and promises, uh, uh, they come quick as rewards. 
Because sin says, why wait? Let, let, let me help you out, uh, young folk. You, you wanna, you, you, you know, that, that, that boy get to whispering in your ear and tell you, why wait? Huh? Uh, 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 why wait? Because in waiting comes the blessing. It, when we off, when we, uh, do things in a hurry, we always mess up. Because we don't wait on the Lord. But the reward that comes quickly are not lasting, nor are they satisfying. I, I, I don't know about you, but, uh, um, uh, uh, and, and I hope y'all invite me back, but there was a time I used to drink. I knew how to drink. I'm going to drink you under the table. Huh? But one thing I had to learn was I could not get drunk too quick. I, I, I had to take my time and pace myself to wait for what I thought at that time was a good feeling to come my way. Because if I drank too quick, I'll be sitting in the chair, sleep, pass out in some way. And not only did I have to learn to pace myself, I had to really understand that, 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 that I needed the quality. Some of y'all used to do that brown liquor and white liquor. I, I had to get the, the, the good stuff. Uh, oh, come on, y'all. Y'all act like y'all. I, I had to get the stuff off of what? The top shelf. And, and, and that way, it didn't have to be quick. I can just take my time and wait. And it, and, and, uh, yeah, 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 might not let me back. That's all right. That's all right. But, 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 the rewards come uh, uh, after time. But then there is perils of weariness. The word lets us know that if we faint not. Fainting or weariness will keep us from our wages. You say wages. It will keep you from your happiness. Oh, y'all don't like that. It will keep you from your blessing. Huh? And, and, and this is the great peril of wit, of weariness. Here it is. Quit it. Because a quitter never wins a, and a winner never quits. And, and see, see, a quitter do not receive divine rewards. Huh? When, when, when you, uh, 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 quit, you miss out on the end blessing. 21 years of service and if you quit now, you're gonna miss out on the souls that are coming. You're going to miss out on the blessings that you bestow on those folks that need spiritual guidance. See, because it's not really all about us, but it is about Him. And when He has called us to service, He didn't call us to sit, but He called us to serve. And as you serve, the blessings come. But see, what the devil wants to do and and how the devil wants to destroy you it is by interfering with the weapons of praise that, 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 that's 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 where i was trying to get to y'all i'm looking at philadelphia prayer and praise and 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 and, and the enemy wants to he wants to get in your praise so that you will quit before the race is won. He wants you to get distracted and detracted from the work that God has for you to do. Because he knows that if 
you ever really, really, really figured out that praise is your weapon, you will be able uh, uh, to handle every threat and, and that the enemy will bring upon your life. See, when the enemy comes knocking on the door, you got to begin to praise him. And, and I just I, I just wanted to get to that one word there, that praise. Keep going with your praise. I, I thought I would just backdoor y'all on that. Huh? Keep going with your praise. You, you know, even if you lost your job, praise him anyhow. Because I'm a living witness that he has something better. Huh? And you wouldn't have left that stinky, uh, dirty job nowhere if he didn't take you off the job. Huh? Keep on praising. Huh? Even with the haters, keep on praising. Instead of uh, uh, walking away from them, walk to them with a smile. Huh? Uh, 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 those backstabbers, don't worry about the backstabbers because God has your back. God has your back, but the enemy just wants to steal your praise because uh, uh, he, he, he knows that if you really understood and open up your mouth and begin to give him praise, uh, uh, that, that, that he has no hold on you. And I'm not talking about uh, uh, giving a testimony, talking about what the Lord has done for you. No, I'm not talking about that. I, I'm not talking about that praise that be, uh, 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 that, that that you only had uh, because God uh, 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 allowed you to have exactly what you want out of His will. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about that praise that He woke you up this morning. I, I, I'm, I'm talking about that praise that He made a way out of no way. I'm, I'm talking about the praise that, that he healed your body with diseases that are not curable. I, I, I'm, I'm talking about he, 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 he saved you and he saved some of your family members that you were praying for. That, that, that's the praise that I'm talking about because when you begin to praise him, your family will start to change. When you begin to praise him, your children start to change. You begin to praise him, them folk on the job, they're going to change. Even when you begin to praise him, your mind will begin to change. We, we, we got to have, we got to have that praise to understand that the Lord is our shepherd. Got to have that praise and let him know that he is our bad, battle act. We got to understand that he, that he is the one that, that helps us through the valleys and over the hills and through the mountains. It is our praise. Let us not be weary. Pastor, be encouraged. Don't be weary. Folk come, folk going to go. Folk going to say, oh, I'm going to be with you. And you turn around and you're standing by yourself. No, I ain't been pastoring as long as you, but I've been pastoring enough to know that I've been out on the ship by myself sometimes. But keep on keeping on. We cannot be weary in our will doing. God has us here for a reason. And when I say here, here as Christians, because he saved us to serve. So let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, in due season, when, when, y- 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 y'all know when, they, when, when the women get pregnant, they drive us crazy for nine months. They happy the baby coming, and I'm happy the baby coming. Huh? I can't wait until that due season comes, huh? So things can kind of get back normal, huh? Somebody, somebody say, somebody say, well, Pastor, I'm not, I'm gonna do them pregnancy things no more. But, but your problems, your situation, the attacks on you and your family. 
There is going to be a due season part. And when that time comes, do just like they do in labor. Just push. Uh, 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 I, I, I think I got about three people. I, I, Doc, I feel stupid even saying it, right? Praise him until something happens. Even in the first trimester, the second, the third, praise him until something happens. And when you praise him, he's going to work on your behalf. So in due season, due season, we shall reap if we faint not. God bless you.